one thing I do with my Minn Kota is every few months I do a 10 minute basic service on it. But the other thing I do is I tune them up a little bit. So I get maximum performance out of the prop and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Now I spoke to a Minn Kota service rep years ago in Brisbane, BLA have a Minn Kota service department and I had a motor in there just getting a, well, getting a bit of a warranty repair on it. And he said to me that my shaft needs to be lubed up. And I've got to be honest, I've heard that before. But what he suggested was a little bit of armor oil because it's a silic water-based silicon. And if you just put it on the shaft, it makes the world a difference. So the first thing I do when I'm doing a bit of maintenance is uh, just lube up my shaft, I suppose. One of, better, one of the better words for it. Now the next step is to just take the prop off and just inspect that there's no fishing line or anything stuck around there. Uh, well this little Minkota has got a um, 13 mil nut but some of the Minkotas are um, 14 mil nut or 9 sixteenths or something like that because they're uh, most of them are American. Well they're all American. Just pop that off and just be careful to grab that washer with it. And Quick look in the shaft there. The the coddle pin's nice and straight. There's no line or anything in there, and there's a little bit of grease still there. So I'm just going to put a tad more grease in there, but that's looking nice and clean. So I'm not going to do much of that at all. Now the next thing I want to do is start greasing all these little moving parts. Now when I release this mincoder, this pin here sits into the bottom bracket and locks the mincoder into position, and you just need to grease around this point here. Now there's some old grease, so the first thing I'm gonna do is dig all that out and try to clean it all up. And then, all I do, and look, there's millions of ways of doing it, but I dip an old Allen key or an old nut, or nut and bolt, uh, bolt more than the nut, into a bit of grease, and then I just dab it around the side so I'm not whacking a whole heap of grease everywhere. You don't need much, you just need a little dab in there, and that's gonna sort you out. So I'll get rid of all this old grease, and I'll start re-greasing all these little bits. What we need to do next is just pull the side plate off and where this stainless steel mechanism is here, just make sure that's nice and greased. So wipe all the old grease off, um, donate an, an old $2 tea towel to the job and just give that a really good clean. And then once again, just in the moving joints, just put a dab of um, marine grease or high temperature grease. So it doesn't really matter what I... I don't mind what grease I use as long as it's good quality grease because I know that in three or four months time I'm just going to wipe it off and put another dab on so it doesn't need to be marine grease but marine grease is probably good. And look once that's all done this side cover can go back on. This box here that's my steering unit so that is a sealed unit if that ever needs to be replaced it's just take that out drop a new sealed steering unit in but in the head up here I've got some uh, connectors that I'm just going to clean up so so once I've taken this head unit off here, once again I've got a completely sealed unit because this is all waterproof. On cheaper electric motors such as the water snakes and stuff like that, these are all open and they're really um, they're really open to all the elements in there. These are a lot easier to repair because you just buy this whole mechanism all in one piece. But you can see here when I go close, I've got a bit of dirt, a bit of salt build up and stuff like that all throughout these wires here. I'm just going to give them a quick spray and a clean up. So I'm going to tune this engine to make it operate at its optimal speed. So a lot of the time the electric motor starts to get a bit noisy and you'll probably notice that your blades, it's not as fast as what it used to be. So what you've got to do is you've got to get the prop off first and this, just for these two nuts just here, if you can, don't have to take them all the way off or not even don't have to take them all the way off, it's advisable not to, just loosen them up. It won't take much to loosen them. Now that I can get that to turn nice and easily, I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to run it on about, say about six or seven, going to a fairly fast speed. And I'll get you to listen closely to that humming away there. And as I rotate that, it seems to be a bit slower. I'm just going to find my sweet spot. And 
the sweet spot seems to be right about there. That's where it's running quite well. I'll dial it up a little bit more just to double check it. I'll turn that off and I'll lock that back up and that is the optimal spot for that electric motor to run in its best position there. These are really easy to repair, but this is just a maintenance thing. I don't repair them myself. I send them into Minn Kota to get repaired. Um, these steering, this steering box has been replaced before, and if the head unit goes, you can replace the head unit as well. Um, but look, once they're worn out, once they're getting old, it's up to you whether you want to spend the money on replacing all these bits, because that's a thousand bucks in itself. You're probably off better, probably better off getting a new motor at some stage. But doing the maintenance on them keeps them running really well for as long as possible. And I reckon I get six, seven years out of these things. And like I said, I use them all the time. So that's all you need to do.